Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about cabinet committees. You all know that cabinet committees play a very important role. In today's context, we are going to discuss about cabinet co co committees in the context of purchasing regarding the BrahMos missile. Okay, so cabinet committee on security they approach a deal related to BrahMos missile. In this regard, we will try to understand the cabinet committees. First, let us see the components. We will we'll try to understand why it is in use, that is the context, then features of the cabinet committees. So what is the nature of the cabinet committees, whether they are the constitutional bodies or not. If not, how they will be established. And if prime minister is a member in the cabinet committee, then what is the role of the prime minister in the cabinet committee. So the important features related to cabinet committees we will discuss, then functions of cabinet committees we will talk. And finally, at the end of this video, we are, we are going to discuss about cabinet committee and security. So first here, this entire topic will revolve around the word cabinet. So you have to know what this cabinet is all about. You know, in council of ministers, in council of ministers, there are three different categories of ministers. Okay. First one is topmost ministers. They are known as cabinet ministers. They are, you know, like their priority is very high. They deal with most important portfolios. They will be helped by Minister of State, Minister of State, also known as Deputy Ministers. So here, Deputy Ministers will assist Cabinet Ministers. And there are another category of Ministers, okay, they are Minister of State Independent, Minister of State Independent, Minister of State Independent. This is the third category of Ministers. So all these three together known as Council of Ministers. Now tell me students. Which article deals with the which article deals with the limitation on the council of ministers? Okay, of course there is a limit on the total number of the council of ministers strength. Which article deals with that particular limit? So this is the broad classification of the council of ministers. In this, we are discussing about the cabinet ministers. Of course, cabinet ministers also to smoothen the function of the cabinet ministers, they organize committees among themselves. They are known as cabinet committees cabinet committees so cabinet committees include only cabinet ministers not other ministers that we have to understand unless until it is required but otherwise it include only the cabinet ministers this cabinet committees and the word in the original constitution the word cabinet itself it was not there this cabinet word it is added later into the indian constitution through 42nd constitution sorry 44th constitution amendment act 1978 through 44th constitution amendment act 1978 the word cabinet was added okay if you remember so in in the entire indian constitution in which article you will find the word cabinet in which article you will find the word cabinet put your answer in the comment section okay now we'll see the context the cabinet committee and security they cleared they cleared what they cleared the acquisition of, I mean, I mean, buying of around 200 BrahMos extended range supersonic cruise missile for the deployment and its warship. Okay, so this is regarding the BrahMos supersonic. You know that BrahMos is a mission which is jointly developed by both India as well as the Russia. And BrahMos is a type of cruise missile. It is not a ballistic missile. The difference between the cruise missile and ballistic missile is cruise missile is the works on the, you know, like. Uh, a fight and forget mechanism and they operate at very low altitudes and this cruise missile they operate within the air atmosphere i mean this earth atmosphere troposphere only this cruise missile that also you have to understand here and their target reach is also very less compared to the ballistic missile we'll see the cabinet committees the cabinet committees they are nowhere mentioned in the constitution they are the extra constitutional committees they are extra constitutional committees they, they are, there are two types of cabinet committees. One is temporary one, the other one is a permanent one. Temporary cabinet committee and permanent cabinet committee. And generally these cabinet committees are set up by prime minister. Actually cabinet committee's main purpose is to ease out the administration in the union executive. And regarding the union executive, uh, whatever the rules required for the ease of administration in the union executive, those rules will be made by the president. Okay, according to Article 78, sorry, 77, according to Article 77, all the rules will be issued in the name of the President. 
and the president will make rules for the more convenient business transaction of the union executive that also you have to understand and the cabinet committee's membership it varies from 3 to 8 generally they include only cabinet minister however non cabinet ministers also they can participate if some any you know like some information related to uh, that particular ministry is there that means they can participate and this cabinet committees they not only include ministers in charge of that particular subject they also include other senior ministers as well that means cabinet committee on defense obviously it may include other ministers also in case if prime minister is a member in any cabinet cabinet committee then obviously prime minister act as the chairman of that particular cabinet committee then these are the eight cabinet committees according to the revised rules of the present government according to the revised rules in 2019 there are eight cabinet committees appointment committee on cabinet cabinet committee on accommodation cabinet committee on economic affairs cabinet committee on parliament affairs cabinet committee on political affairs cabinet committee on security cabinet committee on investment and growth and cabinet committee on employment and skill development so these are the eight cabinet committees okay so whenever government change or government within the government i mean within the tenure also governments are feel free to change the cabinet committees okay there is no fixed number of cabinet committees the government want they can include more number of cabinet committees or they can trim or down the number of cabinet committees as well so what is the main function of the cabinet committees the cabinet committee and political affairs they mainly deal with the policy matters and mainly domestic as well as the foreign policy matters cabinet committee and economic affairs they mainly deals with the economy related activities recently the remunerative price of sugar cane increased that was done by the cabinet committee and economic affairs even the decisions related to fdi fii all of those decisions taken by the cabinet committee and economic affairs next appointment committee they mainly deal with the appointment of important people important positions such as heads of the public enterprises banks financial institutions and all these things and parliamentary affairs committee they mainly look after the business in the parliament okay like how the proceedings should be organized what kind of bills are going to be introduced all the parliamentary business that means business related to the parliament house that will be taken care by the parliament affairs committee the note out of all the cabinet committees the most important one is the cabinet committee on political affairs that is the reason this committee is also known as super cabinet super cabinet next cabinet committee on security okay now we will try to understand more about the cabinet committee on security so this is headed by prime minister why we are discussing particularly about this because this cabinet committee cleared the deal related to the extended range of the brahmos missile members present in this committee prime minister union minister of defense union minister of home affairs union minister of finance and corporate affairs and union minister of external affairs these are the members in the cabinet committee on security that means prime minister is leading this particular committee functions they mainly deals with the defense related law and order related and policy matters related related to the armed forces as well it includes internal security so all these discussions all the decisions related to these particular areas they will be taken by the cabinet committee on security let's see as said this video question consider the following statement regarding the chandrayaan 3 regarding chandrayaan 3 it consists only the rover and lander as yes, of course the orbiter will be used from chandrayaan 2 right second it uh, in collaboration with japan no okay only one first statement is right let's see today's question today's question is which of the following provides for the establishment of cabinet committee okay that means which of the following provisions allowing the establishment of cabinet committee main question discuss composition role of the union council of ministers in the context of india that means what is the role of the council of ministers what they do in the context of union of india okay so this is the uh, you know like detail analysis regarding the cabinet committees and special discussion on the cabinet committee on security and in case if you have any doubts regarding this particular topic please feel free to ask your doubts in the comment section thanks for watching our video have a great day jai hind